Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Geneva Early, a craft doctor, and I'm here with this video I was telling y'all about with the treat box. This is the treat box that has been, um, that was on HSN, and it was in a couple of the um, Crafters Companion um, USBs. It's not on this one, but it's on the... Um, previous version of this that was a dvd so that one this one is not included on the newest uh usb but you can find and i did a video several um uh, time a uh, month back or about a month ago and it this one was in there and this one is in there to make the picnic basket and to make the double-sided box they're in that newest DVD, but this one was not, which is the reason why I ended up buying the set. Because, um, first of all, when you use dies, they're all uniform, and um, no matter what you're doing, they're, they'll all come out uniform, which was the problem I was having. Like when I was cutting out the tabs, I would cut one larger than the other, or one thinner than the other, or something like that. And so they wasn't even. And if I'm going to do these boxes and use them for whatever I end up using them for, they need to be even. So that's one of the reasons um, that I, bur I bought them. The other reasons I have full set syndrome and I want everything and I want it all to look good and be in a set. <laughs> so anyway, so this is the problem that I told you about. You see this thing here? This is the piece that's supposed to allow for this to make this a box. This is the wrong piece. This is supposed to be much wider than this. And so I tried to make one myself, first of all. And I, I took the dimensions of the bottom of the box, like they said, and tried to do it. So this one was using this one. Then I took my uh, piece and I tried to make it uh, per the instructions. Because on cre uh, Create, no, Crafters Companions, uh, when the gentleman did it, which his name escapes me right now. I'll think about it in a minute. When he did it, he had it the right length and the right width, but he gave us the wrong measurements. These boxes in this kit is not five and a half. They're six. So he told us to cut a width five and a half, but did he didn't tell us how far apart these were. When I measured them, they're like two and a quarter ish apart. They're two and a quarter apart. And so when I was doing it, I did it at two. Messed it up. So that's what this one is. They're all scored at two, which is incorrect. They're, they're not two. They're like two and a quarter-ish. As I measure this again, this is, yeah, it's like two and a quarter-ish. So that screwed me up. And I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. It's just like, Geneva, you have to figure this out on your own. And so this is what I came up with. And I'm going to do it on camera. And I'm going to hope it's right. So all of this, let me move out the way. So we know that these boxes, if we want to cover up the complete of the boxes, they're six inches. So the first thing we have to do is get... Um, some paper and cut it to six inches. Okay. So actually, I'm just right behind me. I have white paper. I'm using the hammer mill white right now. Hope y'all can hear me because I, I keep forgetting to turn this mic on. Uh, I'm reaching towards it. Turn it on. Mill white. It's going to say my input has changed, so my voice may change. I'm hoping that it's still good. It should be. Okay, so first things first is we have to have these two sheets of paper cut down to six. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them to six. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two sheets of paper together. I'm thinking overlap about a quarter of an inch. 
So what I'm gonna do is just take some of my what do you this taped stuff and just put it right over the edge. Right at the edge, rather, excuse me. Put that right over the edge. And this is how you join anyway when you're do doing like um when you're doing like uh mini albums and stuff. Oh, what I have to do is take it this way so I can see the edge of the tape. So I'm just going straight to the edge of that tape and laying it down. Then I'm going to burnish that. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to position my boxes, all of them with the facing that left. They're going to be facing left. And I'm going to start at the, where the break is or the, where they're together. Um, and so they'll all be, they'll all be opening like this, like that. Is that how I want them to open? I don't want to open. Yeah. I want them all to be opening like this. So they'll all open starting here, starting there. And I'm just, I'm just buttoning them up against one another. Okay, and then I'm going to stop and leave this much open on this end. And then I'm going to take this one and put it right there. And then this is the last one. I'm going to put this one right here. So then that right there gives me my flip. And then this one, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to mark it so I know where to cut and I'm going to give myself a little extra just in case if I have a problem so all I'm doing is measuring this opening flap right there so let's take this off and then I'm going to just put this in here and I'm going to cut it and then I can tell you how long this is it might seem like I'm going around the world backwards but when you're trying to figure out stuff on your own, you got to figure it out. So then this piece now is eighteen and three fourths. Okay, so then it's still too long, and I know it's too long, but I needed some extra leeway just for me to be able to do this. So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to adhere them to this piece, okay? And you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use some glue. I'm going to use some glue to adhere these. And remember, I left... Remember, I left some extra room... Now I'm going to take up that extra room right there and I'm going to put these right on the edge. And I only did that to give myself a little bit of extra room because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> if that makes sense, you got to figure out stuff, but you got to give yourself a little leeway. Okay. So that's that one box. And then now all you're doing is gluing on the bottom putting them in the right, same direction if you want them you don't have to put them in the same direction if you don't want to you can put them open them however you want but i'm butting mine up against one another and so they can open in the same direction i have glue on my finger but i'm pressing this down pressing it pressing it pressing it okay and I'm making sure that they're opening in the same direction. This must be that one that I couldn't get closed. <laughs> that wouldn't stay closed. But once you put something to keep them closed, you'll be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little piece of tape here just so they can stay closed. You can see that. Just a piece of tape temporarily because I'll be putting a little um I'll be putting a closure on them. So 
So now that one, put some glue on this spot. And I just cut this out of 110 cover weight paper, just a heavyweight paper so that it would stay. It would um, be strong. And I'm just lining them up. And you can make your boxes whatever color that you want to. Um, if you look at the their design, they're all different colors. I just did mine in white because this is my tester piece. Okay, let's go on. Close this one up. And that one's staying closed. So we're not going to put no tape on that one. Okay. So this, you cut out six boxes. And it, ironically, in the video that I did, because I remember I told you I had a video of this. And that video, um, was messed up. It didn't, it didn't upload. And if your boxes don't stay closed, just tape them until you're done so that you can get boxes. Your boxes will stay closed because you can put a closure on them. Okay, so now one more. One more box. This is box number five. And this one is going to butt up right against. And you're buttoning them up. You're, they're touching the previous box. They're touching the previous box, okay? No matter what I do, every time I'm taping a video almost, that dog gets to barking about life. I don't know why. That's cousin. That's not China, the cute one. That's cousin, the oldest one. They're a year apart. Okay, and then we have our last box. And if you see a little piece of tape on there, that's because it is tape on there to let me know which side is the bottom with some double-sided tape because I tested them out in that last video okay so now they're all they're all done okay now you should be able to roll them up and have an extra piece like that. So if you want to keep the extra long piece, which you don't have to, once you roll these up, they'll roll up pretty tight. I think that last one wasn't straight. It's hanging over just a little bit too much, but this is the gist. You want them to fold into each other. You see that? They're folded into each other. And as you roll them, they're folding into one another. They're folding into each other. And then this piece just folds right over. And these two are the front, the first ends. So they, let me see, let me try something. If I can bend this piece back, because remember, theirs has score lines, this is not. Also, another thing that you can do is you can take your piece and take your piece and do it like this across your desk, like run it across your desk to make it, get a bit of curve. But everybody probably has that piece that's correct. For the people who don't have that piece that's correct, this is the way I'm doing it. And so they do roll up like they're supposed to. And then this piece, I'm going to, you put Velcro here. And so I can cut this down shorter. Let me cut this down shorter. I'm going to cut it down. Oh, maybe I should cut it this way. And see, this is the stuff I like everybody to see. Because if you got the wrong piece, because a lot of people from HSN got the wrong piece and they're supposed to be sending it to us, but I haven't heard anything about it. So I don't know if they're sending it to us or not. But then now our box will roll up. 
just like that. Our box will roll up. Okay. See how that rolls up? And it's got a little break right here, but that's because these are the two ends. See that? That fits almost snug, except those two ends. I'm not really sure why they're not closing all the way, but I would assume it's because it's so tight. Because once you butt them up, I must have butted them up too close together. So they're not meeting in the middle. Oh, yeah, there you go. They are meeting in the middle. Anyway, you're supposed to roll the boxes up. I'll make sure they're closed. Because my boxes are not closing. I don't know why they're not closing. I think because I didn't score them good enough. Is that one? Nope, that one's not closed. I'm going to take, keep moving. You gotta make sure you score them so that the boxes will close or use the Velcro like they used. They used that Velcro. And so they like this. And then instead of using the Velcro, I'm just going to use a piece of tape to keep it closed. But it would be like a Vel uh, the Velcro would go on here and here. And so that is the idea. That's the rolling box idea. And so this was just my tester kind of to show you how this works. And then I cut out these pieces that went with it. And these pieces can go right here on each box or right here on each box. You cut out as many as you like. So then when you open them up, they're decorated. And I also cut out the leaves to go to it. The leaves will lay on top of them like that. Will lay on top like that. Or when you roll this out and close it up, you can put these on here. Hey, close box. There. You can put these on here on the outside of your box at each one of them for each one of them as you go along. And I did cut out enough for that just to show you that they will go all the way around this box. Just like that as a decorative element, okay? And so I just wanted to show you how you can do this without the piece that it's supposed to be because a few of us did get the wrong piece. And so if you wanna use your box, Make sure that you just make yourself this piece. So let's see. I'm going to open this back up. And this piece now is the end of here to here is 16 and a half. It's 16 and a half. So cut this piece at 16 and a half. And then your boxes will fit on there perfectly. As when you close them, don't forget to put your Velcro dots to keep them closed. And that will end at the correct spot right joining them together. Okay? If you want to, this piece, you can um, score them at two and a quarter. I believe that's what the measurement is of each one of these boxes. So then they will sit in that space. They will sit in that space. So two and a quarter or such. But there you go. That's how you do the rolling boxes. And all of them should be open in one direction if you want to. Because you can open them in either direction, however you want. This was just my quick example on how to do these. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I, my next video will be on the haul from Craft Day. I'm still getting in some of the things that I ordered. I didn't order everything on craft day because I, I didn't watch the whole show. <laughs> and so I kind of been watching everybody else that do they haul. And then I decide if I like them or not. So, um, some of the things did come in and I think I got an auto ship and that'll be in my next video. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.